Good morning. I'm Jennifer Shelter. Welcome to Motivational Monday. And it's a beautiful day here in Philadelphia. It's gorgeous and sunny outside. Ah, much needed. And I was inspired this morning about this topic that I've revisited in this book I introduced a couple weeks ago called Talent is Overrated. And a section I was reading yesterday really spoke to me and I wanted to share it with you. It's called Know Where You Want to Go. And in terms of motivation, I don't know about you, but on Monday, I really need to focus again after a weekend and say, where do I want to go this week? What do I want to experience? Where do I want to grow and learn? And for me, it's essential in the morning to sit down and focus on that question. Where am I going? And where where do I need to commit to in order to go there? Because just like as if you're sailing a boat, you're not going to just willy-nilly your way around the harbor. You're, if you want to go over to that beach to have a picnic, you're going to have to tack back and forth to get to that uh, get to that location. So there's a bit of a strategy involved. But I'm going to read this to you and then see what you can glean from it because I think it's very it's very helpful. Know where you want to go. Obvious yet deserving a moment's consideration is knowing what you want to do. The key word is not what, but knowing. Because the demands of achieving exceptional performance are so great over so many years, no one has a prayer of meeting them without utter commitment. You've got to know what you want to do, not suspect it or be inclined towards it or be thinking about it. That's really powerful. It's not good enough to just be thinking about what you want to commit to. You've got to act that out, that commitment. I know that sounds really obvious, but there's a lot of times when self-delusion, at least in my own experience, self-delusion is so so powerful. Can, you, you can be thinking that you're committed towards a direction, but really your actions prove, prove the opposite. I think we've, it's safe to say we've all done that before. So I'm going to read this one more time, see if you can hear something new for yourself, and or hopefully it will inspire you in some direction this week. Obvious, yet deserving a moment's consideration is knowing what you want to do. The key word is not what, but knowing. Because the demands of achieving exceptional performance are so great over so many years, no one has a prayer of meeting them without utter commitment. You've got to know what you want to do, not suspect it or be inclined towards it or thinking about it. So this week I ask you, what are you thinking about? And what are your commitments in terms of action towards a goal or towards a dream? It's important to write those things down. What are you committed to? Was one action that you're committed to that you know that's the direction that you want to go? And if you're interested this week, I'm speaking at the New Leaf Club from noon to one. It's an interactive seminar called Letting Go to Embrace Your Potential. It's a wonderful lecture that I committed to, committed to many, many hours of writing and organizing so that I can commit to moving forward in ways in which I coach and support women in strategizing loving their lives and loving their careers and enjoying each other and supporting one another. I hope you'll join me at the lecture or at a one-on-one -on -one interactive coaching session. You can reach me at jennifershelter.com and have a beautiful week. Enjoy your commitment. Enjoy your action. Enjoy looking and really saying, this is what I want. What do you want? Have a great week. See you soon.